Guys, so we're gonna be on a mission for this video because Aaron yesterday said that he really, really wanted sweet potato brownies. And so I'm gonna surprise him, but we don't have eggs. So I need to run to the store, get eggs, make the sweet potato brownies, and have them cooked and ready to go before he comes home from work. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, film the whole thing, and attempt to do this because these are like the best freaking brownies in the entire world. So, mission is a go. Okay, so I just got back from the store and you know like you're trying to like suss out which line's gonna be the fastest at the grocery store? I'm always in the slowest one. I don't know how, but I always end up there. So we're gonna speed through this. So I've got all my ingredients out on the counter, I've got my oven preheated to 350, and I already baked my sweet potato yesterday, and I'm using one that's about that size, and I'm going to just peel it and then mash it up in my bowl, and I'll toss all the ingredients in and show you what I'm tossing in, um, but this is like easiest recipe in the entire world, so let's do this. recipe and filmed it for YouTube like ever so I will show you guys when it comes out of the oven and it's gonna cook for 30 minutes at 350 degrees and it's pretty much like the easiest recipe I've ever done the only only complaint with it that I have is they really only last like three days especially because they're super super moist you really have to keep them like in an airtight container um, and probably like on the fourth day they get like kind of dried out and they start to taste like eh, not as good so you got like three days to devour the whole thing and honestly it usually takes me about a day and a half to do it by myself so I believe in you so I think I've got what 26 minutes I might call Aaron and see when he's gonna be home so that I can plan accordingly or stall him and make sure that he doesn't come home until these are done okay let's call him there's sweet potato on the floor Aaron, 
Strawberries. Come here, look. There's a sweet potato on the floor. Go eat it. So Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Um, what time are you going to be home? Did you call me? Yes, I did. What time are you going to be home? Um, probably pretty soon, in the next 30 minutes. Okay. And then we go to the gym? Yeah. So I just took them out of the oven, and I definitely burned my mouth on them because I wanted to take a bite, but they're so good. Look at how juicy they look. So now we wait for Aaron to come home. What's up guys? I'm coming at you with an entire upper body workout. This first exercise, you're going to do a superset, and this is a static hold and a side raise. This makes sure that both of your arms are engaged for an extra burn, and you're going to superset this with alternating hammer curls. So pick weights for both of these exercises that are comfortable for you, that are not super difficult, so that you can do these in the high repper range. When I say high rep range, I mean think 12 to 16 reps per arm. And your next superset is going to be an overhead tricep extension, and for this one I did a much heavier weight. This is something that I'm trying to work on if my triceps is heavy, heavy weight, just so I can make sure that they're actually getting a full workout. And I superset that with an upright kettlebell row, and make sure that you're pausing at the top of those for the extra burn. This next exercise is a tricep chest press. This for me is one of those exercises that are killer for my triceps and I do the 25 reps on these to make sure that I'm totally burning them out. This next exercise is going to be a cable row and I did 12 reps on each side and the reason I'm doing them individually is to make sure that I'm not favoring one side over the other and I do a lot of unilateral training which you'll see in my other videos. My next exercise is going to be a superset, so I'm doing around the world raises with those eight pound dumbbells, and you will notice that my body is swinging a little bit because this is a very difficult exercise for me, so swinging does offer me a little bit of assistance with that. And then from there, I did jump right into hammer curls with these eight pound dumbbells, and I did this until failure, and that probably gets me to about 20 to 30 reps before I literally cannot raise the dumbbells anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed this entire workout. I'm sorry that it was a little speedy, but if you guys liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.